from CNN.com, CNN Business, the Aunt Jemima brand acknowledging its racist past will be retired. Why am I not so concerned about its racist past as opposed to its present ingredients list? Well, let's read on and find out, shall we? Quaker Oats is retiring the more than 130-year-old Aunt Jemima brand and logo, acknowledging its origins are based on a racial stereotype. They said the Pepsi-owned company. Now, wait, you go, wait a second. Aunt Jemima, Quaker Oats, Pepsi. Why do we have this corporate consolidation of food producers in America? Corporatism, the banking system, the Federal Reserve, all of the government policies that favor corporate conglomeration. The quote reads, as we work to make progress toward racial equality through several initiatives, we also must take a hard look at our portfolio of brands and ensure they reflect our values and meet our consumers' expectations. Aunt Jemima's appearance has evolved over time. The brand's origin and logo is based off the song Old Aunt Jemima from a minstrel show performer and reportedly sung by slaves. The company's website said the logo started in 1890 and was based on Nancy Green, a storyteller, cook, and missionary worker. However, the website fails to mention Green was born into slavery. There have been repeated calls for the company to change the logo. In a 2015 opinion piece published in the New York Times, Cornell University professor Richie Richardson said the logo is very much linked to Southern racism. Richardson said the Aunt Jemima logo is based on a mammy, a devoted and submissive servant who eagerly nurtured the children of her white master and mistress while neglecting her own. By the way, it says it has to point out in the story, a statue of a slave mammy stereotype was approved by the U.S. Senate in 1923, but it was never built. The company also ran racist ads for several decades with actresses personifying the Mammy stereotype. It evolved the logo over the years and even hired singer Gladys Knight as a spokeswoman in the 90s. Today, Aunt Jemima describes itself as a brand that stands for warmth, nourishment, and trust. Qualities you'll find in loving moms from diverse backgrounds who want the very best for their families. So they they took this uh, racist and and you know some people would be tempted to say well it's a positive stereotype no it's still a, a harmful and demeaning stereotype that you don't need to use to sell syrup. But this is Pepsi. What are they selling? Now I turn to amazon.com to look up the ingredients list. And I thought, hey, I'll just punch in Aunt Jemima. First thing that comes up, you know, flick through the pictures. There'll be a picture of the back of the bottom. You see exactly what the ingredients are. Took me a few tries, actually. It's almost like they're hiding it. In one image, uh, one of the, the products on Amazon, you see the Aunt Jemima from the front, crystal clear, high resolution photo. You see the photo of the back of the bottle, the fine print, it's, it's so small and blurry. You can't read the fine print of what the ingredients are. So I found this one. It was a little ways down the list. CJ, if you would, yeah, go to the back bottle. This year, actually, the second picture there, they had to put the nutrition facts on this one. So in this bottle of about 63 servings, serving size, two tablespoons. Who eats just two tablespoons of syrup, really? Amount per serving. Calories, 100. Total fat, sodium, zero. Sodium, 1%. Carbohydrates, 25 grams. Sugars, 15. Includes 15 grams of added sugars for 31% of your daily value. Whoa. Two this must be pure sugar, right? Carbs. No, it's What are the added sugars? Let's go to the ingredients. Just right below that. Corn syrup, number one. Now, you would think, okay, for their number two ingredient, surely they must have some, like, real food, not chemically. And by the way, if you don't know what corn syrup is, look it up. They they don't grow corn in America anymore in, to, to be eaten nearly as much as they grow it to be turned into food product derivatives like corn syrup. And it is a horrific, toxic process 
that creates a sugar in a technical sense it's a sugar it's not a natural sugar corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup that is poisonous to human beings this is poison corn syrup is poison like is, so you think maybe their second ingredient is going to be real food no number one corn syrup number two high fructose corn syrup okay number three surely for number three they can ask them this room no filler water water it's what now okay so they, yeah because the corn syrup naturally is too thick it's thicker than natural syrup they have to add water so then water it down what else do they add cellulose gum flavor texture i don't know then what do they add caramel color okay we're at one two three four five ingredients before we get to salt the first real food here. I don't know. Maybe you should count water. After so, it's corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup. Natural and artificial flavor. Every time I see natural and artificial flavor, I'm like, you could have just said flavor. This isn't any, like what is what is the natural and artificial flavor? First of all, what a cop out. What are you, what what are you putting in my food? It's not my food. I don't eat this crap. Natural and artificial flavor. Like, okay, so if you said natural flavors, you said, okay, so there's natural, unnatural. They said, so artificial would be unnatural. What are you leaving out here? Supernatural flavors? Okay. Sodium benzoate and sorbic acid for preservatives. So that you could put this on a shelf and make it last forever. Sodium hexametaphosphate. They don't even tell you like what what is this stuff? Now I you don't have to go, oh my god, they put all this little stuff in our food and it's all these little additives. Oh no additives. Number one, corn syrup. Number two, high fructose corn syrup. And they want you to believe that if they just take the racist face off the bottle it's still okay to sell you this poison no it's not and one of the most important values of the message of freedom of questioning authority is the benefits you that you get for your own health by not buying into the hype and the bullshit and the people who want to sell you poison and make you think it's okay because hey <laughs> They're not racist.